college fall sports season officially opening tonight. The Holy Cross women's soccer team getting the honor of opening the whole shebang on Mount St. James this fall. They host Iona in an opener tonight under the lights at the stadium tonight. And there are the locals ready to go. Crusaders Stephanie Lund getting them going early, just missing the cross. The scramble for the loose ball, Iona's Christina Ribas clearing it. And it's Andy Selesia from Sarajevo crossing it. Caitlin Hardy with a shot. Great save by Tiffany Martinez for Iona. Holy Cross football team packing the stands on the far side tonight, cheering on the ladies. Crusaders keeping up the pressure. Allie Newman with the cross, the Iona D. Mariah Elsenheimer with the clear. Newman with another bid later. Finds the keeper's mitts. Scoreless through a half. Holy Cross gets the win tonight. 3-1 over Iona. The Saders are 1-0. Well, the football team cheering on the Crusaders tonight on the pitch. Earlier today, Holy Cross met the media in media day. It is picture day. It's a lot of fun for Holy Cross, but it's also a turning point in their training camp because it marks a transition now as they start to get ready for week one. So team picture, guys having fun, meeting reporters, having some fun with the, some shots, but when they talk about their goals, they're all business. Uh, our last go around, our last opportunity to, uh, you know, end on the right note, show that, you know, all our work has paid off and, and that we are a championship team. So we're really trying to, you know, that's the goal. Um, if, if any, if, you know, if we don't win the championship, we'll look at it as a, uh, you know, we kind of set ourselves short. Um, but at, with that being said, we're just taking it one game at a time. Yeah, we know we, we have a great team. This is a great chance to do what we want to do, win a Patriot League championship. And that's how we're thinking. Patriot League championship or bust really for us. The sense of urgency is there. It's been there and we felt it all throughout summer and all throughout the, the spring semester for me even. I mean, this is it for us. It's all on the line and guys are really putting it out there and ready to get after it for this year and uh, hopefully take home that league championship. Experience figures to be a strength for the Crusaders this season, and as Kevin Shea reports, some of that experience is up front. The guys protecting quarterback Peter Puyals. While they don't get the headlines, the offensive line is critical to the success of the Holy Cross offense. Good news for the Satyrs, all five starters return in this close-knit group. It's like we've been together so long, and a lot of us have been roommates at some point or another. Uh, we all know how to work with each other, what each other likes to do, what they don't like to do, what gets on each other's nerves, stuff like that. So uh, we're definitely a pretty tight-knit group. The line's all about camaraderie, being able to work as one unit. Um, you can't have one person mess up, and then someone gets in the backfield and sacks Peter. The name of the game for these guys? Protect all-league QB Peter Puyals. Coach Samko, our offensive line coach, always tells us if we keep him clean, it gives us the best chance to win. Uh, I take special pride with this because Peter was my freshman roommate, actually, and, uh, you know, we love him. Uh, he's the heart and soul of this team, so we, have, we go wherever he can bring us, so we got to protect him. While they may not get the attention the quarterback and wide receivers get, there are benefits to being an offensive lineman. Coach Gilmore always says, eat until you can't eat anymore, so eat your face off is what he says. So uh, we, we definitely enjoy that part of it. Definitely one of the perks is just being able to unwind and just take down as much food as you'd like sometimes. Yeah, Coach Gilmore emphasizes this every day, eat till failure, and uh, I think a lot of us enjoy doing that. With this offensive line leading the way, Holy Cross is hoping to feast on their opponents this year. In Worcester, Kevin Shea, Worcester News Tonight Sports. Eat till failure, that's, that's, a, that's a new one. All right, Becker football has a new head football coach, but he is a familiar face. Frank Forcucci was the Hawks' defensive coordinator a year ago for a unit that set several program records. He brings a wealth of football experience, and his players say he is a positive force. He brings positive and positive energy, and that's what he brings. He brings a lot of enthusiastic and a lot of energy to the team, and it gives us, uh, us players the ability to feed off that and you know, bounce around that energy around everybody else um, throughout the team when it comes from, from being a senior, being a freshman, everybody has the same high energy and they want the will to win, and we win every single day. As a defensive player, uh, it hasn't changed, you know what I mean? He's still the same, he's still the same guy, and what he brings to the table, he brings experience. He brings, he's been there before, he's won championships, so he brings all that to us positive energy he knows what he's talking about he's a great coach and everyone understands that and we're all moving in the right direction 
For Coach, he has coached at UMass, Fordham, Central Connecticut, just to name a couple of places. Becker opens Friday, September the 2nd. And really quick, congratulations, Worcester native Ryan O'Rourke recalled by the Minnesota Twins earlier this week. So O'Rourke back in the bigs. That's sports. All the sports you can eat your face off, too. I, I love it. I love it. I do. That, that'll do it tonight for Worcester News Night. Andy Lacombe, Andy Madison, all of us here, thank you for tuning in tonight. Have a great weekend. We hope you tune in again on Monday. Thank <laughs> you.